make sure you go to shopmccarthy.com. Find a car that you like. Get the stock number. Give them a call. You can work it out maybe even in advance before you even get down there, the financing and everything. Then go down, drive the car if you like it. Well, then you can drive it. All right, let's go to the phones now. As uh, we've been talking about Lakeside Speedway, and it appears that they might be on track to be open Friday, May 31st. But let's make sure. Talk to Pete Howie now, the general manager from Lakeside Speedway. How you doing, Pete? I am great, and I think you're going to be right, unless uh, Mother Nature plays a toll like they're saying she's going to do this next coming week. Oh, let's yeah, hope not. Darn it. We don't need that. Boy, you put no, out we, a great... We don't need that, but everything else is yeah. online to go. Hey, hey, Pete, let me ask you, uh, what's the concerns with the levy that breached? Have they been working on that since it was breached? And is there a concern, if it hasn't been fixed yet, that that's where the problem could lie if Mother Nature tries to do something next week? Yeah, that's, that, that is a problem. Um, they have not worked on it that I know of. Hmm. There has been no activity over there. I We kind of heard through the grapevine that they were assessing the levees, you know, all the way up to South Dakota. And I think they were going to start with the ones that had more of a concern for towns and businesses up that way and then coming this way later. But um, yeah. nothing that I know of. Well, we just... do, do you communicate on a, on a annual basis or like a weekly basis with the the Corps of Engineers, or how do, how do you get your information on what the plan is, and do they tell you when they when they hope to get on that levee where it was breached? Because until that, I mean, all it takes is one big storm, that water runs back through where it breached. Do, yeah, do exactly. you try to put some pressure on them to get that fixed? Well, we, we belong to a, there's like a, I guess you call it a little private group that we're all on, and so the information is, is fairly consistent, but it's it's pretty vague at the same time. You know, I don't mm. think they have a, a direct plan, but, you know, this was a, a pretty um, catastrophic ordeal, and we're talking hundreds and hundreds of miles of this river. So I think they're just, they're kind of overwhelmed as well. But, you know, I don't want to speculate for them, but it's, it's a huge concern for us because you're exactly right. You know, there was, you know, a few weeks ago there was still – feet of snow way up north and then all this mm -hmm. rain and you know just the the rise of the river then the fall of the river the rise of the river and a little bit too much of a rise and yeah we could be in trouble again how many feet that would were to be a danger area for you so if, you know how high it was how, how high it was when it flooded what what's the yeah. number that I, I, is most of, concerning right now, to you? i believe we we can sustain a five foot increase in the river level okay Five foot, and what's that but, make that five feet? What is that? Thirty nine feet or forty oh, feet no, no. or what it's, is? Um, thirty thirty one feet is the the levee that broke. Twenty nine okay. feet is about twenty nine feet is is the the crest of the river on the inner levee, and normal operating of that river is around twenty four to twenty five. Mm. And, and and how high did it get when the levee was breached this oh, time? It was uh, thirty nine point four, I believe, or thirty five point four, I believe. So a little over fifteen feet over what it should be. Exactly, exactly, and yeah. okay. you know, had that had that levee not broken, you know, the water was obviously coming over the top, you know, mm -hmm. and we would have been spared maybe, you know, maybe knee high deep on the property instead of ninety inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what was the deepest point in the center of the track? I know in 93, it was like 45, 46 feet right in the middle of the track, and it was yeah, up we, into the, we, the concession we were about stand. 13 feet below that. 13 feet below that. So you were, you were approximately about 30 feet deep. Probably, yeah, it, it, yeah, give or take. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Pete, as then we've got Pete Howie, the general manager of Lakeside Speedway. Assuming we get no rain, everything is fine. How close are you to getting the racetrack open up, and are you close to uh, setting a date that, that you can put out for fans that uh, you'll be back in business? Well, you know, as of today, I'm very comfortable with the 31st. Again, good. any rain is not good because last week we had just a small little shower, and it was maybe a tenth of an inch, and, you know, you couldn't even go near that track. And, mm. in fact, the ground in general because there's, there's so much moisture, there's so much 
um, you know, underwater, underground water coming back up. That one and the a half. ground is just spongy naturally right now. Wow. You add any any sort of surface layer liquid to that, and it just makes it, you know, like a real thick chili, we'll say. Right, right, right. All right, Pete. Well, we got to get going. It's uh, top of the hour. We appreciate you taking the time. Listen, we'll you stay bet. in touch um, with you. We want to know what's everyone, going on, okay? If you don't hear it from me or you don't see it on the official Lakeside Facebook page or our website, ask the questions. Don't just assume. Okay, okay. good enough. That's All right. Good advice. We appreciate it, Pete. Thank right, you. Thank good you luck. Guys. One minute. Thank, thank right. you for the time, buddy. We appreciate All right. you. All right, All right. thank we'll you. See you soon. That video he put out there the other day, that was pretty good stuff. That was good stuff. So check that that out on their Facebook.